the 2025 Toyota RAV4. We only have some subtle changes here to talk about, but stay tuned until the end of this video where I'm gonna share with you how you can save between two to three grand off the MSRP of a 2024 Toyota RAV4 and hybrid. All right, let's get started here. For the gas and the regular hybrid RAV4s, the only real changes that we have is they have gotten rid of the Adventure and the TRD off-road trim levels. Other than that, the vehicle remains exactly the same. This is the seventh model year of this generation RAV4, and it's still one of the best-selling vehicles in the United States. So despite the newer competition, like the CRV, etc., people still cling to the RAV4 because the Toyota name is something that people trust. And the only other thing worth mentioning is the price has gone up by $175 compared to the 2024 RAV4s. And I also did a separate video talking about the plug-in hybrid RAV4. The only change there was the name. They have ditched the prime name and they are simply calling it the 2025 Toyota RAV4 plug-in hybrid. But in that video, I did talk about the various discounts and savings that could be had with the Prime. So check that video out after you're done watching this. And whether you are going with the gas model RAV4 or the hybrid, I recommend either the XLE or the XLE premium trim levels. I think that's your best value proposition in the lineup. The gas models, they continue to utilize the two and a half liter four cylinder naturally aspirated engine with 203 horsepower and 184 pounds feet of torque. It's got the eight speed automatic transmission. Front wheel drive comes as standard, but you can add all wheel drive for an additional $1,400. The fuel economy changes depending on the trim level that you go with and whether you get front wheel drive or all wheel drive. But on average, you should be getting about 27 city, 34 highway, something along those lines. But the hybrid, it still utilizes the two and a half liter naturally aspirated four cylinder, but it's got two electric motors and it comes with an ECVT, and all hybrids come with all-wheel drive, which is great, you don't have to pay extra for it, and it's got a total system output of 219 horsepower. I recently reviewed a new hybrid RAV4, and I was really impressed with it. It was a great driving experience, and I like the fact they have quieted these engines down over the years. But a hybrid RAV4 should be getting 41 city, 38 highway, but if you go with the Woodland Edition, your MPG drops to 38 city, 35 highway because it's a off-road trim level, right? It's not gonna be as efficient. Regardless, these vehicles are gonna be going on sale later this fall. And I do have the official pricing here for the 2025 RAV4s. You can check that out. But as promised at the beginning of this video, here's how you can save on a 2024 RAV4. You can reach out to Jim, who is one of the largest Toyota brokers in the United States. He has partner dealerships in the Pennsylvania and in the California areas. And his partner dealerships, they're offering about two to three grand off the MSRP of these gas and these hybrid RAV4s. Honestly, the discounts might be more than that. I'm just lowballing it because I do know that on the 2024 Primes, Jim is offering about $3,600 to $4,000 off the MSRP of the Prime, and if you lease it, you can get an additional $6,500 in lease cash on the Toyota RAV4 Prime, so you're getting about 11 grand off the MSRP of a Prime. That's amazing. The regular gas RAV4 and the hybrid RAV4s obviously do not come with that $6,500 lease cash, but I'm expecting you can get about two to four grand off the MSRP. But if you're not local to California or Pennsylvania, then Jim does offer nationwide shipping, but shipping is something you have to pay extra for. And he does charge a broker fee to access these deals. But if you text him and you mention Main Motor Group, he will take $50 off of his broker fee. And I appreciate him doing that for my audience. Obviously, if you're able to pick the vehicle up yourself and drive it back, you can save on the shipping cost. And that's great because this is truly some of the best Toyota pricing in the United States. And something else to keep in mind is, 
there are no additional dealer games here. When you work with Jim's dealerships, you don't have any nitrogen fees, tint fees, all of the other shenanigans. There's none of that. Even the dealer fee that Jim's dealerships charge, it's very reasonable. It's like 450 bucks, something like that, compared to seven, eight, nine hundred dollars that some of my local dealerships are charging. Not to mention my local dealerships won't give me such discounts. And you already know they're gonna throw all of the junk fees at me as well. So it's a pleasant experience working with Jim. That's the main reason why you hire a broker. It's to have an easy time buying a vehicle without any stress. So I'm gonna leave Jim's information below. He doesn't have a website, just a phone number that you can text, mention your zip code, your approximate credit score, along with the vehicle, the colors, and the trim levels that you're interested in to make the process go by faster. But I'll also have his lease hacker page linked below along with his review page. So you can check that out. Hopefully you found value with this content. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you again for watching. Take care and goodbye.